I am at a club that is very close to my heart. I came here when the club were in the championship after Brian Clough left football after 25 years as manager. I helped them to third place in the Premier League. Dan. Steve, how are you? Good to see you. Welcome back. Thank you very much. You okay. It's good to see you. Yeah. Let's perch on your desk. No problem. When you came into a club that's so big, mm. that hadn't been in this division for 20 years, what were your core values and principles on day one? Well, something that always springs to my mind was my first game at the City Ground, which was which was um, we were bottom of the league and there were 25,000 fans, you know, and I, and you could just not only was there 25,000 fans, it was also a real sense of wanting to do well and we just tried to capture that you know and uh, and we started from there and um and we've done all right up to now but also we've got to think about what's next and you know keep going the fans love you you love them mm. how important is that city for a uh, city ground atmosphere in the premier league well it's been massively helpful to to everything that we've done match days are obviously as i said the key and the home games you've just uh, explained exactly how it's been and uh, as it is Away support has been equally as um, supportive uh, and helpful. So, um, and I have to say that the, the support that we've been given, uh, and me as well, has been unconditional mm -hmm. up to now. Um, all, all we've tried to do is do our bit, like I said, to represent the club and the city uh, in what it deserves with, with, with the history. We've made the city ground a tough place to, you know, for opponents to, to play, but what we do know is that we've got some really good reference points of if we play a certain way that's inclusive of our style, inclusive of our attitude, the fans more than get with us and it becomes a, a connection that be become powerful. Um, we have Muller Kintai, as you know, at the start and... Um, New Reds. Yeah, all of that. And, and But it really, what that does is it's not only a symbol of who we are, but it just brings everybody together, you know, and then, um, and then we get to work. Stabs it back for Lingard, and it's going to be bottled in by Taiwo Awani! Yes! Serge Aurier back post. Aurier scores his first goal for Forest. Comes for John oh! who follows oh, in word. from about 15 yards out, low into the bottom corner. Brennan, great to have a couple of minutes with you. We're at the Nigel Doughty training complex. You've been at this football club since you were eight years of age. Quite incredible how the club has changed in that time. Give us an idea, since you were here from eight years of age, what changes have happened? Pretty much everything. I think uh, the facilities, first and foremost, they've changed a lot. So many new signings and so many new staff, it's almost like a different place. So yeah, pretty much everything's changed. Young player of the year in the Championship last year. Five goals already in the Premier League. How has it felt to get into the big league? You're playing against the Manchester Cities, United's, Arsenal's, Chelsea's, Liverpool's. How have you found it? Yeah, I think it's been a bit of a roller coaster this season. I think there's definitely been highs and lows, and I think I've learned from the times where we were struggling as a team, and me personally, and I think after the World Cup coming back from there, I've really tried to kick on and just take every game as it comes, and I feel like it's definitely benefited me. Johnson right wing, Johnson cutting in, he's away from one, he's into the penalty area, leaves it for Gibbs, right to yeah! Gibbs, and it's in! It's Chris Wood back post! And here's Gibbs White wriggling towards the edge of the box, and fires a beautiful shot into the bottom corner! From the edge of the penalty area, Henderson saves it, and Forrester in the semi-final of the League Cup! We are here at the world famous city ground with three Nottingham Forest legends. Nigel Jempson won the Littlewoods Cup and he doesn't shut up talking about it. Gary Bertels is a two time European champion in Madrid and Munich. And Frank Clark's just got the one European Cup to his name, but he's been player, manager, chairman, ambassador, and most importantly, he brought one of Nottingham Forest's greatest ever strikers to this club that just happens to be me. <laughs> Gaffer, Gaz, Nigel, great to see you. Quite incredible story to get promoted, then win the top level title, then to beat Liverpool, the reigning European champions over two legs in an unseeded European Cup. 
to win the European Cup and then to retain it. Um, that's an incredible story in itself. Is it something that is relevant today to the people of Nottingham, to the, the players and, and Steve Cooper? It's very relevant uh, still to the people of uh, Nottingham and the supporters. And to be fair, Steve has, since Steve has come here, he's, uh, he's embraced the culture and the history of the club. That's one of the reasons he's got such a good relationship with the supporters. Uh, we've got to give a lot of credit to the owners. You know, they've, uh, they've backed Steve with, with an amazing amount of money and an amazing number of signings. How important is it for the city of Nottingham, one of England's oldest cities, to have a top-level football team again? after so many years. It's unbelievably good. Smile. Steve Cooper's put a smile back on the faces of Nottingham people. You know, you go around Nottingham now and uh, you know everybody's buzzing, everybody talks about what's going on down here. 16 months ago, the talk was about relegation uh, and he's just transformed the place. Uh, the whole city is united um, and he's brought all that togetherness back. Um, and you know, at the end of the games, you've 27,000 South people waiting to the end of the game for a fist bump off the gaffer, um, which is unbelievable, really. Yeah, it's been a long time coming and it, it's great to see them back.